Hi, I'm Ken Anser from Quality Corporation and I want to show you some of the features of the Burrow forklift here. It's mounted on a truck now. It has a cord that operates the tail lights on the forklift and they're connected to the truck so that you have the stop, turn, and tail functions that a truck normally has. I'll now dismount the burrow from the truck and we'll take some weights off. The safety chains, the cord comes first, then the safety chains. You hang them in their place. Now the forklift is supported by a main cross member on the mast and two locks have locked it in place. I throw those locks around both sides and then I'm ready to dismount the forklift from the truck. Start it up. Take the safety locks off the handle. Let the handle down. Take the tilt out of it. Raise the forklift up. Push it back and then let it down. And balance it on the ground. Now for this particular pallet I'm going to handle, I need to widen out the forks. So I take the fork adjusting tool out. fork in place, adjust the other fork, lock that fork in place, it represents the pallet. It's a two-step process. Pull the pallet back, set it down, extend the forks out, and then you've got the pallet. Pull it the rest of the way back to the forklift. Back away from the truck. Set the pallet, lower it to the travel level. This pallet is right at the 
weighted load of the forklift. Now a customer has asked, can I set a pallet up on a loading dock? And with the extending forks, the answer is yes, and I'll show you how that's done. Again, it's a two-step process. You retract the fork. Lift it up again. And push it onto the and there I lifted a little bit too much on it. Well, I forgot to retract the fork. And now the pallet is safely on the dock where a pallet jack or a forklift can pull it the rest of the way on the dock. And remember, this is a 3,000 pound pallet right at the late rated load of the machine. A lighter pallet, it would be easier to push it onto the dock. Now let's mount it back on the truck. in the truck, lift the forklift up. Give the tires clearance. Set the forklift in its cradle. Kill the engine. Relax all the hydraulics. They're all relaxed. Lock the handle in place. Hook up the electrical cord. The locks on the cradle have fallen into place. It's locked in place. We need to put the safety chain on. We do that, put the other safety chain on. and we're ready to travel. I would say the burrow without the extending forks has a, a different type of mount and we'll show you that in another video. Thank you very much.